And there are new concerns about how effective the vaccines will be against this new variant, and they're coming directly from the CEO of Moderna. Today, he said he does not believe the Moderna vaccine will have the same effectiveness on the Omicron variant as it's had on the Delta variant. And as soon as he said that, global markets fell, leaving a lot of people concerned over being protected. But were his comments premature? Brianna Whitney is here now with reaction. Brianna. You know, Jamie, these comments were concerning, no doubt, and health officials say they may prove to be true. But overwhelmingly right now, doctors say there's just not enough data to know, and any new vaccine or another booster would have to go through a major approval process. Moderna's CEO shaking up the world Tuesday, telling the Financial Times he does not believe the effectiveness of the company's vaccine is at the same level with Omicron as with Delta. Then went on to say the scientists he's talked to have said this is, quote, not going to be good, end quote. Is there data to prove that yet? It doesn't really matter in a sense what the opinion is of the vaccine manufacturers. Former Maricopa and Pima County Health Director Bob England says data from South Africa shows the Omicron variant spreading quickly, but... you got to recognize that that's a country with a very low vaccination rate. Moderna CEO said in his interview he believes the vaccine effectiveness will have a material drop with Omicron. He's just unsure of how much yet. Several doctors say this all comes from concern of the high number of mutations with Omicron, more than is seen with other variants. There's a lot of mutations and it does raise, you know, questions of what's going on. And Dr. Ross Goldberg is the vice chair of surgery at Valleywise Health in Phoenix. He says while these spike protein mutations can seem alarming because there are so many, it's more about what each one does. That data is still unclear. Because it's a mutation doesn't mean they're all friends. You know, they could actually be competing against one another. So do they eliminate each other with the mutations? We don't know right now. On Monday, Pfizer CEO said he's not panicking about the Omicron variant, but his company is readying an updated vaccine in case it's needed. It's important to remember, though, that if there is another vaccine needed, it would need to go through emergency FDA approval again, just like the first ones and the booster shots, too. Live in the newsroom tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.